and crochet fans. Today we're going to be making the Summer Star Shorts. And for this project you will need your choice of yarn. I use Red Heart Ombre, Violet, and True Blue. You'll need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started and we're gonna start with our band. We're gonna chain 17. Round one, one single crochet into each stitch. Round two, chain one, one single crochet into each stitch in the back loops only. You will continue with rows one and two until band fits around your waist without stretching. Once you have completed your band, you will go ahead and you will slip stitch the ends together and then turn it inside out. Okay, so now we will go ahead and we will get started with the body of our shorts. For round one, you will chain one and you will single crochet however many rows you have around and then you will slip stitch together. Round two, chain one, one single crochet in the first stitch. Then you're gonna star stitch around and put one single crochet in the last stitch and slip stitch to end. If you do not know how to star stitch, you can easily watch my star stitch video when I'm making the ear warmers, which there will be a link in the written version. And you can click that video down below. Round three, chain one and one single crochet into each eye of the star stitch. You're going to continue rounds two and three until you have reached the crotch area.
once you've gotten your first two crowns in, before starting your third round, you're going to need to put stitch markers in for your hips so you can increase. So to do this, you're going to flatten out your band with the slip stitch seam in the middle. And then you're going to put in your stitch markers on each end to mark your hips. And you will increase after you have done two more rounds, you will start increasing. You will increase on the single crochet round. And you will increase by putting two single crochets where the stitch markers are. Okay, so now that I have the length I want, I have put a stitch marker at the half point of my shorts and I am chaining 24 to make the separation part for my shorts so I can work on each leg. Now in order to get the halfway point, you're going to count out how many stitches you have. You're going to divide it by two. And then once you get your answer, you're going to count that out and put a stitch marker there. And after you're done doing this part, you're going to continue on with your pattern, working on each leg separately to continue your shorts. And now you can make them as long as you would like. 